Hello guys, I'm Tim Earl from Earl Sports Bets and Picks and Parlays, and welcome back to another edition of Balling Out with Tim Earl. Today we will be talking some college basketball and some NBA. We got three games in college basketball, UMass versus Richmond, Georgetown, uh, not Georgetown, Georgia Tech and Florida State, and then the Louisville and Boston College. In the NBA, we'll be talking Sixers and T-Wolves, Nets and Rockets. So we got a nice card to talk about for tomorrow. Before we jump into it, if you guys want to jump onto the uh, premium plays that are over on the site, because I'm going over three of them now, and I believe we have uh, six or seven up on the site already. Uh, my, actually, it's five right now, and then we're waiting on a bunch of lines. Uh, so they'll probably be end up seven or eight plays tomorrow for uh, college basketball, which is right here, $7 uh, for the week pass, $200 for the month. The month will take you right to the end of the uh, to the championship game so if you guys are just interested in that go ahead and jump on that and then the nba uh, i will have a best bet in the nba um that one i believe is in which game did i have that one in pulling up covers that one is in the memphis and lakers game so make sure you guys check that out on the site make sure you guys, you can, guys can go ahead and grab all of that Let's go ahead and head into the college basketball realm. We'll start with the early game tomorrow. Richmond is and uh, UMass. This one is in the conference tournament. It's on a neutral site, as all of these games are. I believe the only games that are not on neutral sites tomorrow is the UMass Lowell, uh, Merrimack, and Vermont games. Other than that, every single other one is on a neutral site. I know I put at, it's on a neutral site. Richmond, one and a half point favorite. 140 and a half is the total. And we're going to start it off. By grabbing a favorite that is under 500, uh, I'm grabbing Richmond. This one minus the one and a half. I think they're the better team, uh, even though they've had a rough season, 14 and 17 compared to 15 and 15. I I just don't think they should be favorited. I think it's a weird line. So therefore, I'm going to go ahead and grab Richmond. We'll head over to the ACC for the next two games: Georgia Tech and Florida State. Georgia Tech's a one point favorite. 146 and a half is the total. And whenever I can get a not a, a team that's got less than 10 wins at this point in the season at a pick them, yeah, you know, uh, it's gross. But I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the Seminoles in this one. Uh, money line it or uh, whatever you want to do with it. Minus uh, plus one, plus one and a half, whatever it is. I'm taking Florida State to get the job done in this game. Uh, I don't think they go far in the tournament at all. I think they win this one, probably lose their next game. But uh, we'll take Florida State in that one. Louisville and Boston College is the last college basketball game we'll tag on. Boston College, five and a half point favorite, one thirty-five and a half is the total. And uh, it would it would be a crime if we didn't go and back Louisville one more time because they are two and eight in their last ten games, but seven and three against the spread. This is a team that's covering. It's kind of similar to, well, not not as good obviously, but it's kind of similar to the IUPUI play where we grab them every game. We've been grabbing Louisville almost every single game throughout the rest throughout this last stretch. They've been making us money. We'll go ahead and jump on them at least one more time. Louisville plus the five and a half. We'll go over to the realms of the NBA um, where we get the Sixers and the T-Wolves. I do not have a total on this game. Uh, Sixers are two and a half point favorites. It's a bad spot for the Sixers. Uh, I believe they are playing. Yeah, they're playing against. Uh, the Pacers, as we speak, uh, I'm grabbing the T-Wolves in this one. I'll grab their money line, plus 125, 130, 120, whatever it's at. I think Minnesota wins this game. They're the more rested team. Sixers, I know they're on a second leg of back-to-back, but only a two-and-a-half point favorite. This team is 19, anywhere from 18 to 20 games over 500 against a Minnesota team that is two games over 500. I think it's a weird line. Timberwolves plus the 125 money line. Final game of the night, and yes, this one's a beautiful game. The Nets and the Rockets. Nets are seven and a half point favorites. Two twenty nine and a half is the total. I don't, I don't think the Nets deserve to be a big favorite right now, um, especially on the road. I'll, I'll take, uh, I'll take the Rockets to cover. They're nine and twenty two at home this year. I mean, they suck everywhere, but at least they're 15, 15 and one covering spreads. I don't think they win this game. I mean, maybe I sprinkle a little bit on the money line, but. I think this game is a close one, a one-possession game. I don't see the Brooklyn Nets blowing out the Rockets. Uh, so we'll go ahead and grab Houston plus the 7.5 to end out the card. Once again, NBA, I do have a best bet in the Lakers-Grizzlies game. 
Uh, I will also have um, play uh, one or two other plays that I did not go over in this video. Uh, so make sure you guys check out that. Uh, we current, I, I gave out three college basketball. There's two other ones at the moment, and there's going to be more tomorrow morning that won't be available in packs. So make sure you guys jump on the week pass, $70 or the month pass for $200. All of those are on the site, picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim. That's going to wrap it up for this edition of Balling Out with Tim Raw. I want to thank you guys all for watching. And until next time, let's make some money. Let's cash some bets in college basketball and the NBA. Good luck, guys.